We have a few rabbits and we'd like to have them living outside if we can. Rearranging so that they can have a more natural life and we get to see what they're up to. Because, like all the animals that live here, rabbits are really interesting. We decided that if they lived on our front lawn, then we can watch them all the time through the window. And they can do all the lawn mowing for us too. We had the geese on the lawn all the winter, and they did a great job. But they are very messy, so now they're banished to the orchard. So the rabbits get the groundskeeping job, but this is also where we play volleyball and eat pizza, so we're hoping they don't dig things up too much. We're going to need better fencing too than for the geese. And we're fencing in the whole front garden, an area of approximately 1,500 square yards or 1,200 square meters. The fence is to keep them in, of course, but also to keep predators out. I'm using some of my homemade twisted wire wooden paling fence. I made a machine to twist the wire as I put the timber in. I must show you that machine sometime. Again. Like we Twist did again, first summer. Like we did last summer. Okay, let's do the knee bit again. The knee bit. <laughs> this sort of fencing is handy because it goes over uneven ground really well. And we have plenty of that. We put one inch netting on it too and left some to overlap onto the ground. I'm pinning it down with loops of wire until the grass grows through it. Mostly the soil is very shallow, but there are places where they could dig underneath. some of the existing fencing and repaired and refitted the gates. There aren't many predator species here because humans have killed off most of them over the centuries. This country has been wrecked by people, which is why we're trying to restore biodiversity wherever we can. But we do have foxes, cats, dogs, rats and stoats. We have seen badgers and a mink once or twice, but not for years. No birds of prey either here, sadly, that will trouble a big rabbit. All in all, we have fewer species than in the UK and many fewer than on continental Europe. And compared to the Americas, it's a very sad and depleted place. Having said that though, we still have to try to keep these guys alive. And a couple of our guinea pigs too. We're hoping the fence will keep the foxes out, because it's wobbly and foxes don't like wobbly. We'll add an electric fence on top if we need to. It'll also keep out other people's dogs. Our own dogs know that these rabbits are for looking at and not chasing. That leaves rats and stoats and the neighbor's cats. I'm hoping the cats are too well fed to bother tackling a big rabbit. And there's nothing much we can do about the others, 
so we'll just have to see what happens. The biggest threat of all though is probably disease from the wild rabbits and there's absolutely nothing we can do about that so we just have to hope that some will survive whatever comes along. I'm sure you've heard the theory that humans find bird song restful because birds only sing when it's safe to do so. So when the birds are singing, all's well in the wood and humans can be less fearful. Well, I would add rabbits to that too. Rabbits don't relax in the sun if there's trouble nearby. So watching rabbits at play is calming for humans. I'm feeling very calm these days.